I sometimes feel bad for Chauncey because I feel like a lot of his life has just been waiting. Um, waiting for me to find the poop bags. Waiting for me to finish reading this book. Waiting for me to find my keys. Waiting for me to, you know, he's just waiting to go outside and take a walk and then say we, we do that, right? And we're walking along and we're having a nice time because I know it's good for him and I know it's good for me that animals actually connect us to the present in a neat way. They don't think about, you know, how things could be different. This is a standoff. He wants to go a different way. I want to go to the park. He wants to go that way. So I, so it's, this is what happens. See? Come on. He doesn't know that this way is the dog park. He wants to go this way. So sometimes I'll just let him. And, and let's see what, what's so important. But see, this, this is why a terrier can't be off, off leash. Because the terriers are the type of dog that will get hit by a car. Because they're, he's following a bird that just flew by. Literally, I've loosened up the grip, as you can see. I let go a little more. I trust a little more. But there's times when I let the leash, leash, leash go, and I, I do that with myself in life, too, you know? There's times when you worry about what could happen. There's times where you just say, let's, let's f it. Let's see what happens. It's out of my control anyways. 